short memory, poor knowledge of history. These are the main reasons for today's political dilemmas on what to do with Russia. Among those who try to be neutral or at least not to make quick decisions are Hungary, Germany and some other countries. Which is weird considering historical parallels. 1956 – Hungary People's Republic In October, the mass demonstration of the students and intellectuals began demanding to get out of the pro-Soviet Warsaw Pact. The Hungarian KGB, ruled by Moscow, opened fire at peaceful people. The demonstration escalated into clashes all over Budapest. The Russian army came very fast. And, after the parties agreed to cease fire on the 1st of November, on the 4th, at night, Russians began artillery attack started bombing Budapest. The Russian troops entered the city. The resistance was suppressed until January. Thousands of Hungarians were killed. Almost 200,000 Hungarians left the country. 22 years later, Petr Siyarto was born. Hungary supports Ukraine, but there are issues in which we see no alternative. For example, the embargo on Russian energy. Today there is no country that can completely cover Europeans' natural gas needs. On the contrary, Czech Republic remembers well what happened when the Russian world came to the country. The year 1968. The new authorities in Prague try to build socialism with the human face. Moscow decides to eliminate this threat for the Soviet dictatorship. So soon 200,000 troops and 5,000 tanks invaded Czechoslovakia from all the Warsaw Pact countries except Romania. The army stayed there until 1990. That attempt to change the regime was called the Prague Spring. Nowadays, Czech Republic and Slovakia, from the very first days, started helping Ukraine in different areas. Albania, Poland, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Baltic countries. Those who remember the bloody empire understand the threat to Europe very well. But today the whole world should understand that a large country, ruled by a small dictator, is a threat for humanity. The era of funny symbols, vodka, Sputnik and balalaika has passed. Now the armed and drunk savages under Z letter are ready to invade and destroy any country. And then it will be too late to discuss energy supplies in Hungary or Russophobia in Germany.